It took over 1,000 engineers as well as scientists to ensure that this 700 crore rupees mission is up and running. We have one of the main brains behind this, and that is ISRO Chairman S. Somnath. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure it was not an easy task. And uh, what really went through your mind in the last four years? Were you extremely confident that you would be putting India on the global map? Sure, we were very confident. Uh, the entire team who were working uh, across various centers of ISRO, they were very confident. There were many elements to this mission, starting from the rocket, the LVM-3. Then the Chandrayaan-2 failure analysis was going for the last two years, uh, four years almost. The first one year was spent on that to find out what went wrong. Then we devised how it can be corrected for the next one year. Then the last two years we did a lot of tests, hundreds of tests. And that was coordinated across the country in so many of ISRO centers, laboratories, institutions. And a lot of models were made and tested day and night. They would have spent on understanding what went wrong and also how to strengthen it. So it was a process that went in. And they made the flight, uh, Chandrayaan-3 as well, with its new instruments. Everything has to be done afresh. We couldn't recover anything from the moon, even if we wanted to. So that was the journey. Uh, and for their uh, hard work, and also by so many people from industry, academia, contributed to it in terms of reviews, manufacturing, uh, giving us suggestions on how to make it better. And for them, I, we are very grateful and thankful for them for their contribution. Uh, so finally, the result come, came today, yesterday, yes. So also, when it comes to Chandrayaan-3, it was your uh, responsibility to get this rocket fully tested before it was really uh, rocketed up. So what really went through your mind, the kind of challenges that you really faced, especially with COVID pandemic at that time, and also Chandrayaan-2 not really going as expected? See, we faced certain difficulties during those times. Uh, the COVID uh, did really upset a little bit of our programs. But we were still launching uh, rockets during that time. You would have watched that uh, launching happen during COVID time. We devised new methods to connect remotely and work. And we could do at least two PSLE launches. But post-launch, uh, post-COVID, we have back on track with our increased long launching rates. This year itself, we have finished seven launches. And we are continuing to have many, many interesting missions coming up. Uh, and uh, this time, the, Chand the Mar GSLV Mark III, the LVM-3, has already done two commercial missions. And after that, it is doing the Chandrayaan-3. The Chandrayaan-2 was done by the same vehicle during its uh, first operational flight. So uh, it is an uh, exciting time. Now we are going to have a lot of new missions. The Aditya L1 is in the offing. The Gaganyaan-related test vehicle flight is going to happen. Inside 3 ds is going to be launched. And we are going to have our X-ray polarimetry satellite launch, SSLV launch, like that. So also, India is now, you know, first on the map when it comes to uh, exploring the uncharted uh, territory, and that is the South Pole. What does this really mean for India, and how will the next 14 days pan out? How crucial is it? The entire instrumentation design of the Chandrayaan-3 is specifically for landing on South Pole, uh, or near to the South Pole, because the, the possibility of getting light for only 14 days exists. But there is huge amount of science possibilities in South, southern regions of the Chandrayaan, of the moon, sorry, uh, compared to what has been till now explored on the equatorial region. So they are related to the presence of water in large quantities and also presence of minerals and other things uh, in better numbers. And this being not a so much illuminated zone, the potential of them to be retained there as compared to the equator, they, they could be lost. And there are many other physical processes which scientists were looking at on the creation of moon, its atmosphere, charged atmosphere, etc., are yet to be investigated. So it opens up. So our five of the important instruments on board, the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover, are targeted towards those explorations. So everybody is congratulating you all over. But what has been the biggest adulation that you've received so far? Uh, the love of you, all of you. I think uh, more than that, I can't tell any words. Uh, the entire nation loves uh, uh, us, uh, ISRO, for the accomplishment. And with the support of the nation, only we can progress. And for, I am very grateful for all your uh, no, love and affection and your prayers for making us succeed. I think it says a quite, so much about uh, belief in our own system and our own people. And that is something that we need to celebrate. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. And interestingly, uh, Somnath also means Lord of the Moon. And I'm expecting that the next mission of yours with the sun would be Lord of the Sun, <laughs> is what we all expect. But thank you so much for joining us with camera person Kumar as well as Govind Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.